Your Excellency, President Yoon Soo Kyol, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to President Yoon Soo Kyol for hosting the Korea Africa Summit as we collectively navigate global challenges and endeavor to achieve stability and growth. The ties between Africa and Korea date back to the Korean War of the early 1915, fostering a strong partnership rooted in collective security. Ethiopia emerged as a significant ally to Korea, contributing the Kanyo Infantry Battalion to protect freedom of the Korean Peninsula during the war. Over the years, our cooperation has expanded to encompass various sectors for mutual development. In the current global landscape, Africa and Korea must align priorities to address development and security shortfalls. Therefore, the summit offers an opportunity to envision a future blueprint for partnership and strengthen our synergy for shared growth and sustainability. Excellencies, Africa's economic diversification focus sets it up to seize new opportunities during global transitions. Despite challenges, the continent demonstrates economic dynamism, prioritizing integration and paving its own path toward a prosperous future. Ethiopia in particular has taken proactive steps to address food, climate, and the energy crisis. Initiatives like the Green Legacy and Food Sovereignty efforts underscore our commitment to sustainable and green growth. As part of the continental efforts to achieve the African Union agricultural transformation agenda, Ethiopia has played an inspirational role in increasing wheat productivity. Our performance in wheat production indicates that Africa has the potential to shape the future of food globally. Informed by Agenda 2063 in the African free trade area, the continent is poised to harness its economic potential, aiming to become a key growth node in the global economy through integrated industrial productivity. Hence, our continent seeks to leverage Korea's expertise in manufacturing to enhance industrial capacity. Ethiopia's investments in industrial parks align with the vision and offer opportunities for Korean industries to establish manufacturing plants, leveraging our abundant skilled use workforce and significant market potential. Excellencies, I emphasize the importance of tailoring the platform to meet Africa's specific needs, particularly in fostering innovative, smart, green, value-added, and digital economies. In order to strengthen and shape the future of the Korea-Africa partnership, allow me to propose three key initiatives centered around sustainable and share growth in various sectors. Firstly, let's lay the groundwork for a Korea Africa Institute of Science and Technology. This would streamline technology transfer and foster collaborative research towards industrialization. By pinpointing common interests, we can kickstart cooperative projects and programs aimed at nurturing industrial and economic development across Africa. At the seat of the African Union 
and Ethiopia's prioritization of the ICT sector. Addis Ababa stands ready to welcome such an institute. Secondly, a comprehensive cooperation for smart mobility would be mutually beneficial. This initiative will focus on advancing smart and sustainable urban development throughout Africa. It involves implementing intelligent transportation systems, promoting the adoption of electric and smart vehicles, and fostering smart city partnerships to address mobility challenges effectively. In Ethiopia, we are prioritizing the transformation of gray to green cities through various sustainability interventions, including restricting the import of non-electric vehicles. Thirdly, let us strengthen partnerships on artificial intelligence and technological innovations to expedite digital transformation across all sectors and create new sector. This is crucial for enhancing efficiency, driving economic growth, and improving the quality of life by leveraging cutting-edge technologies to address complex challenges and unlock new opportunities. Lastly, I would like to propose an action plan for resilient food security. This will enable synchronization of African food sovereignty efforts with Korea smart farming technologies. The goal is to boost agricultural productivity while advocating for smart and sustainable farming practices. As I conclude, I am confident that expanded development cooperation with the Korea Africa platform will significantly contribute to the fostering innovative, smart, green, value-added, and digitalized growth. Let's seize the vast potential of Korea-Africa relations to generate fresh momentum for sustainability. Together, we can forge a forward-looking strategic partnership that not only makes a lasting impact, but also leaves a hopeful legacy for future generations. I thank you.